guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get too far into it, you guys have less than two weeks left to enter to win this, 5.9 Cummins plus $5,000 cash. And right now, every $1 is one entry to win for all orders except for mystery boxes. If you subscribe to a monthly mystery box, you get 20 times entry. That's the only way you can get 20x entries for this giveaway. So consider subscribing to a monthly mystery box if you want to get 20x entries, but just keep in mind, even if you choose not to get a mystery box for 20x, it only takes one lucky entry win it all. So we got a couple small things we're going to be doing today and hopefully you guys are excited about them because I know that we are. So we're going to be heading over to my dad's place and we're going to be doing a couple of things regarding his truck. We got some new stuff we want to show you and not only some new stuff to show you but we're going to be making a slight change to his truck as well. So stay tuned guys and hopefully you enjoy the video. I've done it all. So here we are, big change to the King Ranch. Hopefully you can hear us over the wind. It's pretty windy out. Yeah, check the makeup. But yeah, it went from like 72 and sunny the other day to snowing and 36. It's kind of weird. April 1st, you know, April Fools. You thought you were done with winter. Anyway, so here's the truck with the cap. What brand is the cap? I never did look at it too yeah, close. I don't even honestly know. I was <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, like, I, I want a nice one. I a picture of a truck right there. It's got a picture of a GMC uh, on the I'm side. I'm it's truck gear. So I was looking at the Lears, Yeah. and then it kind of sounds dumb now that I think about it, but the guy was like talking about different ones, and he's like, I like this one. It's looks good it's kind of you get more for the bang or more bang for your buck yeah. or buck for your banger ducks go flying bang bang or whatever these are a lot more costly than i thought but i'm happy with it so far because i've opened it twice <laughs> when he first got it i was like how do you like it and he's like ah, i haven't even looked it's like i don't even know what it's like in there is it unlocked you have to unlock uh, it is it a, like a button they, one? yeah you can either use the key oh or it, they they wired it so it also works with my Cool. Yeah. But then you just twist it. So, you know what? I gotta lock this. Why? Oh, I heard it. Yeah, that's cool. Boom. Sweet. It's like a grandpa thing. Sweet. I, I like this. Like it's carpeted on the top and sides no, and there on the is rails. A, there is a light, just a little light up here. It's like way up here and it like does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like four it's micro awesome LEDs. Yeah, it's like, okay. Yeah. If you That's weren't funny. my height, well, I mean, this is a lifted truck, but if you weren't my height and if your dad's not, your tailgate's not up, there's no way you could be reaching. Yeah. I think it'd be a little bit better if there's like a little switch over here on the inside. Now, what was the inspiration for the cap? Because, like, I got one for Pappy's old truck because Jeremiah has one on his truck, and I'm like, you know what? If I'm gonna put a cap on it on this truck, I'm like I'm gonna do it now because I'm like it is perfect for deer season. You got totes and camo and gear and all this stuff, or like in our case too, we got a 90 pound dog that you can't just throw him in the bed of the truck in the winter. And yeah. so it's you know, but I don't want him in my truck because he sheds like crazy. Ever so, since so. I was a little kid, I always wanted to be a trash man. <laughs> <laughs> totally joking. Nothing against trash man, but it's just not my dream. But anyway, no. If you know, you know. It, the reality is, like, I used to use this for pulling my gooseneck. And now that I don't have a gooseneck, it's not to say I won't get another one, but it gives me a reason to buy another truck now because this one has a cap. If I yeah, you one. can't you can't use it now. You just, it would but be easier. You'd save money if you just bought another truck. Instead another of, truck and trailer. <laughs> instead of taking the cap off. It's true, though. Like, when we go up to Pennsylvania to Flintlock Hunt or whatever else, like, with the tonneau cover, they always get rain and snow up there. So you could pretty much pack our gear in there, and then if you do happen to get, like, Let's say four large antlered animals. What are you gonna do with them? Or, or any, or, 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 an, or, or any. <laughs> so that's why we did it. It's just uh, I think it'll be easier. I don't know how much I'm gonna use it, but it's kind of nice. Think about so, how much more stuff you can forget to take out of your bed because now you can stack it higher. 
Well, that's true. Half our kids go and move into Ohio and half live in here in Indiana, so I'm sure we can make a lot of trips with luggage and guns and stuff and so on. Yeah, I mean, you know, a trip with, you know, him and my mom in the vehicle, you know, it's just the way women pack, you're gonna need all this space for a three day weekend. <laughs> I didn't say that. My inspiration was A for hunting season, that's my biggest thing. I use the dog thing as another thing to justify. I really wouldn't care if he had to be in the bed with no cow. <laughs> and then what happened to your exhaust system? Because you had told me one time, like, oh yeah, by the way, the exhaust just fell off the truck. And I was like, it, it, what? It fell off the truck. Uh, we went on a little weekend getaway. And I go to get fuel that my exhaust was down here. It was still on, but it was like hanging down there. So I just literally like grabbed it and just moved it just a little bit to try to lift it up. And then it just fell off. So I threw it in the bed. Now it's in the barn, and now I got an axle dump. There's the old axle dump right there. We're gonna try to complete the axle dump with an exhaust tip, which we've actually got. Make it official. Yeah, we've actually got, because this truck needs an, well, it doesn't need an exhaust tip, but it, it should have an exhaust tip to complete the look. So I picked up two, and I told him, take your pick, chrome or black. And then we'll just put it on the truck and then uh, complete it. Because if you're going to have an accident because your exhaust just kind of forced you to just, you know. Although you probably can't see it a whole lot. They'd probably go with the black. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it. Also, before I put the pad cap on. You want to open that thing up? My, uh, I haven't even opened it up. I changed my third brake light so now that way it's changed and you can't see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After all that time, there was a smoked. He wanted to put a smoked third, bar, third brake light on there, so he did. Finally put one on there. Pretty sweet, huh? It's not it's not quite ridiculous. I mean there's some guys that put like those eight and ten and twelve inch exhaust tips. I was like, that's a little bit bigger I, than normal, I think but if you did that unless I take the spare tire off this that wouldn't fit. No, this, this one might still be this snug. yeah, that's probably the biggest you could go. So it's a five inch inlet to a seven inch exit, which I think is like the biggest that he could probably fit under here. We might have to move the exhaust a little bit, but it should, fingers crossed, there's that broken hanger still in the way, but it should fit. Check Look at that, and then you just gotta twist it. That's perfect. Is that not perfect? It works great. Sweet. And then this will, yeah, we're gonna have to, to pull that out. Belt, I'll pull so. that out. So I'm gonna grab some WD-40 to pull that thing out, unless it just falls out. But usually you need to put a little bit of lubricant on there to get that thing to come off there. And then uh, we're gonna get that thing tightened up on there. That's sweet. Before we put this exhaust tip on, I did take it back off. It wasn't tightened. It was just slid up there. I did take it back off, so we can do a little bit of a a start up and exhaust note. What it sounds like with no five to seven inch tip and then we'll do the startup after and see which one see which one sounds better or just see if it even sounds any different at all you guys can be the judge of that in the comment section below See how it sounds any different. I don't like the exhaust tips to hang any lower than the axle. Because if it hangs any lower than the axle, it'll interfere with clearance. Thank you. 
pretty sick. There's the view. Now this doesn't exactly match anything on this truck, but it comes off easy enough. But I did end up buying two, one chrome and one black, so my dad could choose which one he wanted. And I figured in the meantime, whichever one he doesn't want, I'll throw on this truck because they both have five inch exhaust systems. Neither of them had exhaust tips on. Let's do it again. if it would really sound any different. I couldn't really tell in my dad's truck, but I could tell a big difference when I got in this one and I revved it. Maybe it's just because it's a side exit on the back versus like shooting down at the ground. I thought the axle dump would have a much different sound with the tip on it versus not versus this, but this sounds a lot deeper. It just has a lot more of a growl and an echo to it. Definitely, definitely sounds a little bit different. Well, that was pretty much all I had for today's video. Pretty short and sweet. It's Fridays are always a morning that I can usually catch my dad not at the office, so I thought I'd run over there and let him do the exhaust tip pick out of which one he wanted and get that thrown on there since his tailpipe fell off. And you guys haven't seen the bed cap since it got put on. Just thought I'd show you guys a little bit there and update you with some things. And then also, remember, the giveaway for this truck does end very soon. You guys have under two weeks left. It ends on April 14th, so if you don't get in before then, uh, well, that would be unfortunate because the winter could be you, but you never know unless you put those entries in. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for all the love and all the support. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.